found some strange things in my basement. Like that boy band poster I didn't own in the 90s. <laughs> or all those socks I thought I lost in the dryer. But I can't top these stories of the top 10 strangest things found in basements. Let's get started. Number 10, a 200 pound alligator. Over the years, I've had a few neighbors I suspected might have bodies buried in their basements. I've never suspected anyone of having an alligator down there though. But sure enough, police in the quiet Chicago suburb of Lansing got a call about an alligator being kept in a basement. The gator was discovered when an appliance repairman thought he saw something moving in a covered box. Having apparently never seen a bad horror movie, he thought it was a good idea to open the box and look inside. Seeing a six foot alligator, he snapped pictures, got out of there, and later reported the incident to police. They eventually learned the house owners had kept the gator for more than two decades, mostly in a cage, but occasionally let him out in the backyard. Gotta make sure your pet alligator gets proper exercise, right? Glad I'm not that guy's neighbor. Or this guy in New York who kept a bunch of sharks in an above ground pool in the basement of his home. He was probably breeding the sharks to sell to collectors because predatory marine animals are the new Beanie Babies, right? Number nine, a secret roommate. Every roommate I've ever had has made so much noise or so much of a mess, I couldn't have missed them. But apparently some people get so lucky, they don't even know they have a roommate. Two Ohio State students living in a rented house with several other people decided to explore the basement. They found a locked door they thought led to a utility closet. But when maintenance workers broke down the door, they found a decorated bedroom with textbooks and framed photos. Horrified, the housemates changed the locks and put a note on the door for their unexpected tenant to call them. He did, identifying himself as Jeremy, and later he nonchalantly came by to pick up his stuff. The rightful tenants did remember meeting a young man in the basement during a party a few months before, and they recalled he was pretty cagey about whether he lived on the floor with their roommates. Although they found him strange, it didn't occur to them he was secretly living in the basement. After all, sometimes people act weird after imbibing at a college party. They soon forgot about the weird tenant, but as it turns out, they'd met their secret roommate and didn't even know it. Apparently his cousin had lived in the house the year before and the realty company hadn't bothered to change the locks, so he quietly made himself at home. Now if only known roommates could do the same thing. Number eight, two fetuses in jars. When I go down to the basement, I always hope to find a dusty bottle of wine that turns out to be a rare and expensive vintage, or at least something alcoholic. Some renovation workers in Hannibal, Missouri were shocked when they uncovered two glass jars, but they weren't the kind you drink out of. In fact, they contained preserved human fetuses. Needless to say, everybody wondered how they got there. The mystery was solved when it turned out the building they were renovating had previously been an illegal abortion clinic in the early 1900s. Number seven, Torpedo. Linda Forrest of Goshen, Indiana dropped a bomb on her husband when she told him she'd found a torpedo in the basement of their new home, which she was renovating to make him a man cave. He didn't believe her until he went to see it for himself. Sure enough, there was a heavy, large green torpedo in the basement right above the Notre Dame flag they'd just hung up. They consulted their army veteran son who identified it as either a mortar or lightweight anti-tank weapon. Then he told him to put it back where they found it and call the police already. When the couple said bombs away, an explosive ordnance disposal unit came and hauled the weapon off for him. It was later safely disposed of. No one's sure how the mortar got into the forest's basement in the first place, but it may have been from the Vietnam or Korean War eras. Number six, persecution room. Diane and Pat Farla also wondered about the meter long rectangle that lay alongside the walls of their new home, a renovated detached Victorian building they moved into in 2007. For years, they just wondered about it. But one good Friday, they had a few drinks and decided to find out. After pulling away the grid, they found a spooky underground chamber that resembled a chapel, complete with remains of a cross and pews. The room was later dated to the 1700s and appears it was likely used as a hidden church during a time when Catholics were persecuted. Number five, snakes. A couple in Rexburg, Ohio bought a new house and apparently didn't inspect it as quite as well as they should have. After moving in, they noticed a strange oniony taste to their water. Water. Worse, they kept hearing strange noises under the floor. Eventually, they removed a panel of siding in the basement and a bunch of snakes poured out. Wait, let me just add that to my list of things to have nightmares about. Experts later told the couple the onion taste in their water was probably due to the musk snakes exude when they're scared. Yeah, that's right, the snakes were the ones who were scared in this scenario. At any rate, there was more bad news when removing the nest from the basement was priced at around a whopping $100,000. There were just too many snakes to get rid of them easily or cheaply. The unhappy homeowners filed for bankruptcy and sadly slithered away from their new home. Number four, haunted well. Colin Steer lived in his house for years and fortunately he didn't notice any snakes or strange noises, but he did wonder about that weird little dip near his sofa. Fortunately, it didn't bother him too much, but after almost two 
decades in the home, he decided to replace some floor joists. While ripping up the old floor, he uncovered a mysterious dirt-filled brick shaft. He dug out several feet of dirt and was going to keep digging, but his wife apparently didn't like the idea of a huge hole in the living room floor, because apparently it just didn't go with her decorating scheme. So she told him to fill it in with dirt and cover it back up, and he reluctantly did it. A few years later though, he was retired, bored, and looking for something to do. So he and his buddies decided to investigate the mysterious hole again, even if it meant facing his wife's wrath. They ended up finding a 17 foot deep medieval well. Steer later found it on the 16th century plans for his home, so he knows it's at least that old. While exploring the well, he also found a creepy, rusted sword stuck between the bricks in the well almost like someone had fallen in and tried to climb back out. Now there's something else to have bad dreams about when you hear something go bump in the night. Number three, Doll's Last Supper. If I ever visit Hanny's Bar and Grill in Phoenix, Arizona, I'll be sure not to get lost on my way to the bathroom and wind up in the basement. Restaurant management has set up a strange dinner for dolls down there. It's arranged like the Last Supper and many restaurant guests have found it strange or even creepy. But hey, dolls have to eat too, right? And at least they don't look like Chucky. Who knows, maybe they tip better than the restaurant's human guests. Number two, Panzer Tank. A lot of people enjoyed playing with G.I. Joes as a child, and some adults still collect army memorabilia. But a man in a German suburb may have taken things a bit too far. He was well known in the neighborhood for his extensive collection of World War II items, including weapons like a cannon, torpedo, and other arms. Best of all, he even had a huge World War II Panzer Tank in his basement. Occasionally, he took it out and drove it around the neighborhood so his friends were cool with it. But at some point, it occurred to somebody that having all those weapons was like, kind of illegal, and they must have reported him. His house was raided by police and the tank and other arms confiscated. Number one, Benjamin Franklin's Anatomy School. Benjamin Franklin is known for his role as one of America's founding fathers and early presidents, as well as being that crazy guy who flew a kite in the rain and discovered electricity. But it turns out some gruesome discoveries were made in his abandoned British home, which he left in 1776. In 1998, the historic home was being renovated and turned into a museum, when more than 1,200 bones were found in a pit under a secret concrete floor in his basement. The more than 1,200 bones were identified as belonging to 15 different people. Was Franklin secretly a murderer? No, as it turns out, the the most plausible explanation is that the bones were from an anatomy school run by Franklin's protege, William Hewson. Anatomy was frowned upon back in those days, as was using dead bodies to gain medical knowledge. Franklin probably knew about his protege's activities, but wasn't directly involved. It's believed that Hewson learned what he could from the bodies, then buried them in the basement rather than risk being caught taking them out of the home. To be fair, these clandestine activities ended up advancing medical practices at the time. I don't know about you, but if I find something of Ben Franklin's in a basement, I'd prefer it be one of those green rectangles with his face on it. What's the weirdest thing you've ever found in a basement? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe, clicking that bell icon to never miss a new video. Thanks for watching.